What if the tech inside your phone, laptop, or even the AI tools shaping industries no longer relied on Western chips? Russia is making waves with a groundbreaking development, its very own EUV lithography machine. This innovation could redefine the global semiconductor industry and disrupt a sector long dominated by a few powerful players. For years, ASML, the Netherlands-based leader, has maintained an almost unbreakable monopoly in extreme ultraviolet lithography. These machines are indispensable for producing advanced computer chips, the backbone of modern technology. But recent reports suggest that Russian scientists are closing in on a technological breakthrough with implications that could transform the global tech landscape. According to the Moscow Times and Commerçant, Russia has reportedly developed a prototype EUV lithography machine. While still in its testing phase, this milestone represents a major leap forward. EUV lithography is among the most complex and expensive processes in chip production, demanding mastery over three critical technologies. High-power EUV light sources capable of producing extremely short wavelengths, precision-engineered lenses to etch intricate patterns at atomic scales, and ultra-precise wafer stages for nanometer-level positioning. ASML's global dominance stems from its ability to seamlessly integrate these components. For example, the American company Symer supplies ASML's advanced EUV light sources, while German firms like Carl Zeiss craft the precision lenses. Facing exclusion from these supply chains, Russia has focused on leveraging its own resources and expertise to overcome these barriers. Why is EUV lithography such a transformative technology? Simply put, it's the key to creating smaller, faster, and more efficient microchips that power everything from smartphones to self-driving cars. Without EUV, modern devices would struggle to keep pace with technological demands. Russia's previous reliance on imported technology left its semiconductor industry lagging behind global competitors. A 2023 report by the Russian Ministry of Digital Development noted that over 90% of the country's semiconductor equipment was imported, leaving it vulnerable to supply chain disruptions and international sanctions. But now, the tides are shifting. Over the past decade, Russia has invested billions in semiconductor research, signaling its commitment to breaking this dependency. Leading the charge are institutions like the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology and companies such as NTFES. According to Izvestia, MIPT has been working on EUV technology for over 15 years, developing innovative materials and techniques to address challenges that have stymied traditional designs. One standout achievement is NTFES's prototype EUV lithography machine. Unlike ASML's systems, which operate at a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers, Russia's design uses a wavelength of 11.2 nanometers. This adjustment could improve resolution by 20%, enabling finer chip features and potentially simplifying the manufacturing process. Imagine smaller, more powerful chips driving advances in AI, quantum computing, and consumer devices. Russia's journey to this point has been far from smooth. Geopolitical tensions have created significant obstacles. In 2020, the U.S. imposed sanctions on several Russian tech companies, cutting off access to critical components. According to a 2022 report by the Financial Times, these restrictions have cost Russia's tech sector an estimated $1.2 billion annually in lost revenue and increased R&D expenses. Despite these challenges, Moscow has doubled down. The Kremlin's 2023 budget allocated an additional $2 billion to semiconductor research, with a significant portion directed toward EUV projects. This strategy not only aims to enhance national security, but also to position Russia as a competitive player in the global tech arena. How does Russia's progress compare to global leaders? Consider this. ASML has spent nearly $18 billion on R&D over the past decade, leveraging partnerships with top firms in the US, Germany, and Japan. 
In contrast, Russia has relied on domestic expertise and collaboration with China. A 2023 joint venture between Russian and Chinese firms aims to pool resources and accelerate innovation. Speaking to Nikki Asia, Zhao Wei, a semiconductor analyst in Beijing, remarked, This collaboration has the potential to challenge Western dominance in chip technology. China's involvement also signals a broader geopolitical realignment. By working together, these two nations are not just addressing their respective technological gaps, but are also positioning themselves as a counterweight to Western control of critical supply chains. This cooperation reflects a strategic push to diversify the global tech ecosystem, reducing reliance on a few dominant players. This is particularly significant given the strained relationships between the U.S. and both Russia and China. In a 2023 report from The Economist, analysts highlighted how technological self-reliance has become a cornerstone of geopolitical strategy for emerging powers. By jointly advancing EUV technology, Russia and China are not only improving their respective industries, but also reshaping the balance of power in global tech. One area where Russia has made progress is in plasma-based light sources. Researchers at MIPT have developed advanced cooling techniques to stabilize the 11.2 nanometer wavelength. A 2024 Science and Technology Review article highlighted that this innovation could extend component lifespan by 30%, reducing costs over time. Additionally, NTFES's modular machine design allows for easier upgrades and maintenance compared to ASML's monolithic systems. What does this mean for Russian innovation? It demonstrates the country's ability to innovate under pressure. This modular approach could serve as a blueprint for other nations seeking to build competitive EUV systems without the reliance on extensive global supply chains. Scaling these innovations to commercial production, however, remains a daunting task. Russia's semiconductor market, valued at approximately $3.5 billion in 2023, is dwarfed by the global market, which exceeded $600 billion, according to Statista. Competing with ASML, whose annual revenue surpassed $22 billion in 2023, will require sustained investment and international collaboration. Despite this, the potential rewards are immense. An independent semiconductor industry would not only boost Russia's technological sovereignty, but could also position it as a key supplier to emerging markets. Countries in Africa, South Asia, and Latin America, where demand for affordable, high-performance chips is rising, could benefit from a diversified supply chain. What could this mean for everyday consumers? If Russia succeeds, the competition could drive down costs for advanced chips, making high-performance devices like AI-enabled phones and autonomous vehicles more affordable. A report by McKinsey projects that innovations in AI, 5G, and quantum computing will generate over $12 trillion in economic value by 2030. Russia's contributions could play a pivotal role in shaping this future. To put this in perspective, imagine a world where your next smartphone or electric vehicle is powered by chips designed with Russian technology. The downstream effects could include more affordable devices, longer battery life, and faster processing speeds. A tangible impact on daily life. However, geopolitical risks loom large. According to Bloomberg, restrictive export policies could limit Russia's ability to sell its machines in Europe and North America. Furthermore, the high costs associated with developing these machines may deter adoption in price-sensitive markets. Yet, this creates an opportunity for Russia to focus on developing markets, where affordability often outweighs brand loyalty. By tailoring its technology to the needs of these regions, Russia could carve out a significant niche in the global semiconductor landscape. For instance, Southeast Asian nations with burgeoning tech industries could become key customers, leveraging Russian chips to drive their domestic innovations. Even so, Russia's progress is a testament to its resilience and innovation. 
The country's ability to chart an independent course in semiconductor technology underscores its determination to compete on a global scale. Dr. Elena Petrova, a semiconductor policy expert, remarked, This isn't just about catching up. It's about reshaping the global order in tech and providing alternatives to long-standing monopolies. To make these advancements relatable, imagine the tangible impact AI systems diagnosing diseases faster, energy-efficient smartphones lasting longer, or even smart cities powered by Russian-made chips. This isn't just about economic potential, it's about redefining how innovation can touch lives worldwide. The race to dominate EUV lithography is far from over. Russia's strides are significant, but challenges remain. Could this spark a new era where the tech we rely on is shaped by more than just a handful of Western companies? Will developing nations embrace this shift, or will geopolitics limit its reach? Russia's push to develop its own EUV lithography machine represents more than just a technological milestone. It's a strategic move to reshape the semiconductor industry. With significant progress already made, the potential impact on global supply chains and technological innovation is undeniable. However, the bigger question remains. Could this development redefine the global tech hierarchy in the next decade? What do you think? Could Russia's breakthrough spark a new era in tech? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're glad you're enjoying this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out another video that is now on your screen.